The same way they used Okadibo to rubbish Zeke. I remember Okadibo in MPN calling Zeke a, a mosquito or the rant of a mosquito, whatever. The same people killed Chuba Okadibo. A very brilliant mind, once again. More recently, they now use the same criminals, now clamoring for Igbo presidency. Do you, you see them not Igbo presidency, Igbo presidency. You think they have something upstairs? They have nothing upstairs. All of them. Omahi wants Igbo. Omahi, yes. You want Igbo presidency? Oh, Ojun Sokalo, you want Igbo presidency? Oh, maybe even Wobodo, you want Igbo presidency? Yes. Now let me ask you a question. When the Okuyeme came out to contest in 1999, Igbo presidency, what did he do in just Ojun Sokalo? You betrayed the Okuyeme. You voted for Basanja. Just PDP convention in 1999. So that time, Igbo presidency wasn't good. It wasn't good enough. It's now that you want it, yes? And now let us go to Dave Umahi. Your own brother, Peter Obiwu, contested with um, Atiku. Under your own political party, you were in PDP. But you delivered the Boeing State to APC against your own brother. Now you want to contest because you felt that should P2B go and succeed and become VP to Atiku. After eight years or thereabout, or after four years, P2B will naturally succeed and become the president of the zoo, thereby spoiling your own chances. What did you do? What did you do, I ask? You campaigned against your own brother, against your own fellow Igbo brother. Now you're talking about Igbo presidency. I just want to prove to the world that these people are they're just criminals, a gang of thieves, all of them. Okay, Zakala, after campaigning against Ekweme, all of them, do you know that the entire PDP caucus from the East never voted for Ekweme? So they were asking themselves, how come your own brothers don't want to vote for you? Or Joseph Kahlo was there. Some people are championing, yeah, he should be the president. But Ekweme served Shagari very well. Never stole a dime. In fact, bankrolled MPN. He was a multimillionaire and is very successful architect in the USA before he came back. Very wealthy man. Ekweme. Oju Zokalo, did you vote for Ekweme in 1999? Now that you're campaigning for Igbo presidency. Was Ekweme running for, for, for Igbo presidency? <laughs> Dave Umar, Igbo presidency, Igbo presidency is our turn. When your brother Peter Obi was campaigning, did you campaign for him? Did you vote for him? Despite the fact that he is your brother in the same political party. That is why all this your nonsensical Igbo presidency is dead on arrival. When we were doing Biafra, did you support anybody? Instead, you called the army to come and kill us. And now you want us, you, you want to go to Abuja. <laughs> you send their force now, they'll bring their uh, they'll bomb everybody to death. They are Igbo presidents, Igbo Kunaba, useless set of idiots, traitors, and betrayers. Jim Wobodo, in 1999, in Joss, you were speaking Hausa against your own brother, Kweme. You are speaking Hausa. In Joss, in 1999, you campaigned against your brother. Now you are talking about Igbo presidency. <laughs> oh, dear me. Igbo presidents, Igbo Kunda, useless people. There is something I want to tell all of you. We hope, pray, and know that Biafra will come or the zoo will be destroyed before 2023. Of course, everybody knows that. It's, it's given. COVID-19 saved them last year. It won't save them again. This year, the vaccine is out. Instead of an Igbo man to be the president, or Yoruba for that matter, let Fulani continue. It is called Mirina Mohuana Manana Yupi. Since you people prefer to be slaves, because if we allow any of you idiots to enter into as a rock, After about four or five years or six, uh, Fulani will take it back for eternity. You would have benefited from your own wickedness and evil. So you know what is going to happen? If Fulani are smart enough, they should continue. They can, uh, everyone saw what happened all over the world. The of election these days is just uh, is given. It is no longer a big deal. As long as you are proclaimed the winner, that's it. If Fulani are very smart, they will continue in office. They will continue in the zoo. In their zoo, of course, we are living. We are not going to stay there. That is why you don't want to support Biafra. Because of presidency. So you and your friends can now be eating money. You buy your own houses in Dubai. You want to be like Hatiku. You want to be like... Um, your wife wants to be like... Um, uh, 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 what's her name? Uh, Aisha. 
uh, flying private jet to Dubai for shopping. Meanwhile, we are dying. We want people to understand this. DSS, especially. No matter how many groups, fake groups you create. Because every day you create a fake group. Igbo, Ohaneze, Igbo in the diaspora, uh, including men and women and children.